Let's talk about different types of plyometrics and how to integrate them into your training programs. First, if you don't regularly jump, we can't really start with impact, right? That's not a great way to introduce your joints to this. So we're going to start off with this grounded decel drill where you just start at the balls of the feet, you let the heels drop, you come down fast. We can progress that into something called a depth drop where you're going to step off of a higher surface and practice decelerating, practice landing. The next variation is something called a squat jump. We're gonna start tall with either the hands or the hips or using the arms. You're gonna bend over, hinge, squat into approximately a 90 degree knee bend, pause for two to three seconds, and then just work on producing as much force to get as high as you can. Once you've mastered that, the next standard is something called a counter movement jump. Counter movements are used all the time. All we're really doing is utilizing your stretch shortening cycle, loading you eccentrically, and then finding the ability to change directions. We can build on what you're doing in the counter movement by giving you a depth jump. So here's the deal with depth jumps. We want longer ground contact times. We're utilizing more of the hips and the knees. We're getting into the legs a little bit more and learning how to change direction after a harder deceleration. As we move down the chain to focus more on fast ground contact times and ankle tendon stiffness, we start off with pogos. This, think of it like jumping rope, right? We want minimal flexion of the knee and just a lot of rebounding through the ankles. Again, we make that a little bit more complex by introducing a drop jump, not to be confused with a depth jump. So here, my goal is to touch the ground and rebound as quickly as possible with minimal knee flexion, minimal getting into the legs.